The next item on the agenda is a uh, gold leaf application and directive and direction to staff. Paul. Thank you, Mayor. This item, uh, it's City Council recalls from two weeks ago. Um, I submitted to the City Council a copy of the application that was approved by the Halifax Committee considering the Golden Leaf Foundation funds that, that are going to be available in Halifax County. Just in brief summary, the Golden Leaf Foundation has made available to uh, all Tier 1 counties, including Halifax County, $2 million uh, to help do different things that are within the parameters of the Golden Leaf Foundation. There's a Halifax committee that's been meeting uh, some six or eight months to try and uh, give some priority to how that money could be best spent in Halifax County. And they came up with three initiatives. There was an infra infrastructure initiative, an economic development initiative, and an education initiative. And that's what, that's what the committee approved to uh, funnel that money towards in projects in Halifax County. That was done about two weeks ago. There was an, an application, which I passed out to, that was approved at the same time. And there's a deadline for the initial application for those monies from any and all groups that qualify, basically nonprofits and uh, municipal and local governments, including school systems, are uh, eligible applicants for these monies. What I provide to you, and really there's certainly, um, within those parameters, there's any kind of uh, subject matter that we can come up with. And I uh, certainly invite the city council to come up with any other suggestions it might think appropriate for these funds. I came up with two recommendations after speaking with Chris, um, who's been to a lot of those meetings, and certainly Lori and Kathy Scott from the Economic Development Council in the county. And they've been working really hard and closely with this group to come up with some good ideas. Certainly, um, Roanoke Rapids has got to take care of Roanoke Rapids, and so you want to, you know, I think we have to be careful and, and, and should be careful with uh, making sure the money will be well spent here. And I think there's a concerted effort, and it should be applauded, to kind of use this money in a way that's going to benefit the entire county, not just one area, one project, or one park. And in that regard, what I've recommended to the city council to consider, and it's, it's far from complete, that's for sure, but the principle is, let's come up with a Main Street initiative, which you know we're making an application to the state for Main Street proceeds that will help us with professional planning and um, gears towards some grants. That's really just a start in that program. This application will fund actual projects as either a streetscape or possibly facade improvements to the, to the Main Street corridor in downtown Roanoke Rapids. The idea being that you know, we'll have some professional help and guidance if the Main Street program is awarded, but we still won't have any funds to really do some nuts and bolts, concrete, brick and mortar kind of improvements. We've got to stay within the parameters of the Golden Leaf Foundation and they have certain limitations about you can't buy property, you can't buy buildings outright with it. We believe, although we've got to keep studying it, we believe that an improvement to facades will qualify, and we feel 99% certain that a streetscape improvement will qualify for this funding under the economic development umbrella of those, um, of those different <coughs> categories that I mentioned earlier. Trying to get the entire county involved so it's more of a county effort instead of just simply Roanoke Rapids looking for a large sum of money. What I've proposed, and I certainly have to do this between now and the end of September, is to try to get all the municipalities in Roanoke Rapids to jointly make this application. Um, I think the city could volunteer to be the administrative um, um, handler of this application, and certainly do as much of the footwork. We would ask for a letter of commitment and or a resolution from the other, other municipalities. Um, without going any further, um, if I would propose something in the $400,000 range, if that, if that is appropriate, something in that range, we have to find, find a, a fair and equitable uh, ratio of how much would Roanoke Rapids qualify for, how much would Halifax, how much would Enfield and the other municipalities throughout Halifax County. I think population should be a factor there, other needs and assessments. Obviously, you know, I, I feel that Roanoke Rapids probably has the, the largest population and probably the largest needs, but I certainly want to be fair to the other municipalities and have a ratio that fits and works for everybody. That's something that we're going to have to do and certainly talk to the uh, administrative leaders and or the mayors and city councils of those other municipalities and hopefully we can get them on board so we have a joint um, application that we can work together. There's lots going on. Lori can probably fill you in a little bit more um, if the city council is interested. There's a very uh, interesting and very attractive uh, application that's in the works for a trail program that's going to try to connect 
the municipalities and some other key points of interest in Halifax County. And I think this application, which is more of let's fix our downtowns, let's fix our main streets, will go hand in hand with that kind of trail application. You know, if you got a trail going to municipalities, when you get there, you don't want to be disappointed. And we want to make sure that we can clean up our main street and all the other municipalities can do the same thing to make it a very attractive uh, visit to Halifax County. It will certainly take uh, years to uh, fulfill this once it, it's approved, if it is approved, but we've got to start somewhere and this is some money. That's one suggestion, one possibility. Another one is, um, and this is in my memo just to summarize, I met with the school board staff about two weeks ago and they indicated, uh, we talked about several things. One interest they had was just kind of trying to get the city council's interest, level of interest, or lack thereof, as the case may be, in the Patterson property that's uh, behind the high school of approximately 25 acres. I think we all know there's some challenges there, and I think uh, we could do another separate application for somewhere between 25 and say $40,000, depending on what the best estimate for um, an environmental assessment and a best use assessment uh, would cost to, uh, to provide for that land. This could be a joint application with the school system, so we could apply together. Again, we could take the lead in that application. I'm sure the school system staff would be willing to work with us and pursue that property. You know, um, I, I understand the, the school system owns that, but it is 25 acres of land in the middle of our city. I think it, we want to make sure that the best use is provided whether that ends up being athletic fields that are shared by the school system and the city, or it becomes more of a, of a business kind of development, we'll have to just kind of figure that out as we go. But I think until we kind of do that hard work up front, we won't really have much of an idea. And if Golden Leaf will help us fund that, that would certainly would be a, a good shot in the arm, I think, for that project. And again, that would, I think, fall clearly within that uh, economic development um, <coughs> arm of the Halifax County slash Golden Leaf um, funding. <coughs> and certainly, item number three is, any other good ideas the city council has that'll fit under those uh, those those three arms of the application? And certainly, I think we're all all ears here. And, and if you have anything we can pursue, we'll be happy to. The authority I'm looking for from city council is direction to pursue one or both of these or any other kind of subject matter for the grant. I've spoken with Lori and also with Michael Scott, and they have both volunteered graciously to uh, perform these applications, conduct them for no charge. For the city and i certainly recommend we take them up on their on their services in fact i'm meeting with michael scott tomorrow uh, tomorrow afternoon chris is going to be there at the meeting kind of go over um what the um the city council has authorized us to pursue and get started pretty quickly as i mentioned they're due by the end of the month so we've got to move pretty quickly if we get that authorization i'd like to be able to bring you back at least a draft application in two weeks at our next regular meeting so with that, I'll stop talking and see if you have any questions, comments, and please, if you have any detailed questions, we'll turn those over to Lori since she knows a lot more about that project than I probably okay. do. Thank you, Paul. Does any uh, councilman have a question for Paul? I don't have a question. Uh, Paul, I think you have two, uh, two great ideas, and uh, I appreciate your, your help, Lori. And uh, I, I say go for it. That's uh, two good ideas worthwhile, and uh, I'm all for it. Lori, would you like to comment? Any um, other, you, you or Alan, either one? Just to, just to let you know that, um, the, especially the Main Street Facade Improvement Program really dovetails really wonderfully with the trail program. We've been working and thinking and planning for several years on doing a trail that takes you um, through the county, basically following the river and spurring off into each downtown. We're really hopeful that they'll approve um, wayfinding for that, marketing for that, signage for that. So we're spurring to each downtown and then to follow that up with this idea of facade improvement. I just think Golden Lake will, will like the idea of the two dovetailing together. I can work with you. Alan, you have a comment? <clears throat> I'm just looking for what's going to do the most good for the most people. <laughs>